Okay, so today I want to talk about the biggest mistake I've made this past kidding season and I'm not joking This is the thing that I'd never recommend anybody I read it on a book and I regret every minute of trying this because it didn't work it gave me more um, work to me and annoyed me a lot more so let me explain a little bit what that big mistake was now I have I checked out from the library this book but in one of the chapters I was reading was about raising a lot of kids uh, together you know how they were having I don't remember but if it was 20 or 30 kids uh, at a time and how they managed to make sure that everyone was good with their weight and that they were healthy and that they had enough milk and everything without bottle feeding which is what I thought that I would do um, this past kidding season, but I didn't. Now, I've I've read there that they had different ideas on how to manage that on their website. So I went on to this website and I found the article, which I didn't know it was an older article, where they were explaining that the best way to deal with babies not being able to grow that much if they were multiples was to put them in another dough and not have them raise this other kid that is not theirs because they probably already have two on them but to put the dough on the stand and kind of rotate different kids that are not theirs so they everyone gets a good amount of milk before going to bed and they did it throughout the day I've read the article I'm gonna link it down below if you want to read it but I thought that's a great idea because I'm still putting them on the stand because I want to make sure that they get their fair share of grain and you know pellets and everything so I thought that's a great idea and I shared with you in different videos how we were doing that now I would control the amount of minutes that they would be on each dough and have a timer that would tell me okay now they need a break or if they drop it and a couple of times I would just pull them from the teat because the mom was eating and this is a random mom it's another kid's mom and um so I thought this is genius and so I did it and it was the worst mistake that I've ever made in the end, none of the moms, and, and, and this is why, in the end, what happened is when those kids got stronger, in the beginning they were very weak and they were not pursuing any other mom, but when those kids got stronger, they decided that everyone was their mom, and so they would chase all the other does around the pen. It got so bad that the moms would sit and not feed their own kids because they didn't want to feed this other random kids that were not theirs. So it was very hard to put on weight on the kids that were their own kids because they had to sit down on their udders to make sure that the other kids wouldn't drink. So there was a point where I had to separate them, where I had to you know kind of put the mom with the kids in different stalls and everything so she would feed those kids and that's why it kind of made my life a nightmare you know when things work i always like to come here and explain to you why they work but when they don't work i'm the first one to admit that didn't work this is a video i meant to do a long time ago and i didn't um but it's it's just something that i would not recommend I don't think you should do it. I don't think I would ever do this. And I just think that because of all the kids being able to latch to different moms, in the end, this was chaos. And moms were, were headbutting other kids that, and I don't blame them, they were right. Because these kids would not leave them alone. And one thing is to have two kids of your own drinking every so many minutes or every so often. And another thing is having all the kids in the pen trying to nurse from you 24 7 it just wasn't a good thing and even though it kept their production up it was a nightmare going inside that pen was a nightmare because i was upset with kids that wouldn't let it go like some kids would try to drink from other mom from other moms and then when the mom said no they, they got the idea and they would go walk away 
but there are some very persistent kids and that's what happens today with Evie. Evie was one of those persistent kids and I just get upset with her. I really get upset with her because I just can't understand why she needs to nurse from everyone. Now, she's over six months old. She'll be seven months old next uh, October 1st. And she's drinking from Clara. She's drinking from Mocha. And she's drinking from Gaia. And, yeah, no, she hasn't tried um, Athene. But those three are constantly giving her milk. And at this point, they've already given up. Animal haven't... I mean, she... I think her kids left May. And Evie has been draining Annabelle throughout the day. So I wasn't able to milk her twice a day. She learned how to remove the tape. I mean, I'm telling you, Evie has been a nightmare as far as that. But you know whose fault it is? It's my fault because I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put her in other kids, in other moms, and uh, that really is 100% my fault. So even though I get annoyed at seeing her drinking from other moms when she shouldn't be, and even though it's making my life hell, or was making my life hell, really, because I wanted to milk twice a day, <sighs> and I couldn't because she was draining them, uh, it really... I understood that it was 100% my fault. So, I'm going to link things that I remember where I found. Or I'm going to look them up and link them down below so you can read it. Um, there was this other way that they were also trying about milking and then pasteurizing the milk. Because they didn't want to... Um, they didn't want to... They didn't want the babies to drink raw milk from other moms too. So there's a lot of different methods that this person tried. And I've seen in different videos and I've, I've seen this done before. And I thought I'd give it a try, but it just didn't work for me. If you tried this and it worked for you, please, by all means, share in the comments down below and tell me your experience. But I don't think that it's worth trying at least in my personal experience, so that's why I'm sharing it with you. But if you think otherwise, please share it in the comments down below. So that was my worst mistake for this past kidding season. If you have heard and you can think about something that you wouldn't try next year uh, or the big mistake or something that you regret doing, I love to read it in the comments down below. So if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.